Yes, yes, guys, this is nearly last, and in this series that I like to call Armory or XP, I'm going to be out trying out different weapon variants. I'm going to be seeing whether I want to be keeping them in my armory, or I'm going to be chucking them out for a bit of XP just to try and help me prestige a little bit faster. Well, as you can see in this episode, I am running with the ARX Damnation. This is an elite weapon variant, and I've got to be saying it really should not be. I was ex quite excited when I first seen it as an elite, and I thought, here we go, I love my burst weapons and that, and uh, I must say, the stats didn't quite match up for me, for an elite, it should be swapping places with the hole puncher, I mean, the hole puncher as a professional, compared to this as an elite, it is completely the wrong way around, I mean, the accuracy does go up by two, which is going to help with that three burst fire, so it does help with that, but your damage goes down by one and obviously it's not a one burst gun at, at its best anyway so you're going to need to get a few more shots off which then gets nullified once again by the fire rate going down by one as well now that is one thing that this weapon had over the IMR is that it's got a tighter fire rate it really does help out in those situations where you need to get an extra round off get a couple of bullets in that you might have missed and this gun definitely lacks that I mean the range does go up and the handling goes down by one but it doesn't really make a difference with this type of weapon but I mean unless you're trying to keep people off at range and getting a few rounds into them you are at really disadvantaged as you're finding you're watching me with this gameplay I'll try and keep people off at a bit of long range but then when I'm getting closer all I can do is try to strafe I'm trying to move in and out of gunfire because if I don't get all these bullets off that I need to as quickly as possible especially with that lower fire rate really 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 does hamper you quite a bit so for me this weapon starting off with is not looking good for it it really isn't it not really matching up with I haven't quite got all of the steel bite yet but I can't believe that this weapon matches up anywhere near close to this I mean with the class set I'm what I'm trying to run at the moment is I use stock and I am using the red dotted sight I don't particularly dislike the sights on this I just find them a little bit better trying to use them it's not too bad I know a lot of people try and run without it but I don't know for this weapon I prefer to have it on I do need stock on on, especially with this weapon because I mean like I said if you don't get all those bullets off and you're not 100% accurate all the time you need to be out of strafe you need to be able to move in and out and that's what brings me on to the perks guys I mean I'm using lightweight and I am using low profile as well I'm trying to keep myself off the mini map I want to try and wait around and want to try and pick some people off because I've got to be a bit more careful with this weapon than what I usually would be with the hole puncher I, I can get in and amount people with that extra damage in that and with the normal fire rate I can feel that I can challenge people even in close quarters even with people jumping around I might lose a few gun battles here and there but I, I feel pretty confident with this weapon as itself I really do not feel confident at all with it I don't I think it really really does lack down so we're going to bring it to the verdict guys basically would I want to keep this in my armory or am I going to sell it for some XP and I'm going to sell it it really really does not match up to my whole puncher whatsoever I see no reason why I'd ever want to use this weapon it's a bit of a letdown for an elite weapon variant it doesn't doesn't live up to par so i'm going to leave it to you guys but anyway guys if you want to let me know what you think about this weapon whether you've unlocked it whether you actually want to unlock it or not and whether you think it's a bit of a disappointment or anything else just leave that in the comment section below or contact me on twitter It'd be absolutely fantastic guys and coming up on my screen in a minute guys is going to be my subscribe button please click on that and come back and check out some more of this series and also guys if you can drop a like on this video it'd be absolutely amazing this is going to be Nini Lassen. I'll catch you later.